Rascals and Earl. Today we're doing multiples of 2, 5 and 10. Hi Nyan, and what do you have behind you? A new smart board. That looks very nice. Do you think it's going to make our videos easier? Yeah, a lot easier. Okay, brilliant. So you said multiples of 2, 5 and 10. Give me a multiple of 5. 10. Why is 10 a multiple of 5? Because 5 can go into 10 two times. Without a? Leftover. Without a remainder. Very good. Give me a multiple of 10. 10. Why is 10 a multiple of 10? Because 10 can go into 10 without a remainder one time. Very good. Give me a multiple of 2. Um, 8. 8. And why is 8 a multiple of 2? Um, because 2 can go into 8 four times. Good. So a multiple is when another number can go into it without a remainder. Yes. And what lessons have we been doing before this video? Times tables. Times tables. Which times tables have we done? 2, 5 and 10. Good. So we're going to use our knowledge from the times tables to help us with our lesson today. Multiples. Yes. Okay, very good. So let's use your new pen. And can you tell me one multiple of 10 and can you circle a multiple of 10? 10. Okay, go ahead, circle a multiple of 10. Very good. Can you circle another multiple of 10? 100. Why is 100 a multiple of 10? 10 can go into 110 times. Without a? Remainder. Very good. And do you remember when you were doing your 10 times table? 10 times 10 equals 100. Good. And can you say the whole 10 times tables for me? And 10, maybe 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. You need to start again and you need to go slower. So can you use the board? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100! Good. So how many times does 10 go into 70? 7. Okay, so they are all multiples of 10. One second, I'm, I've just grown a little bit, so let me step down. <laughs> okay, move your step out of the way. So it's you just can... a step. Okay. okay. So circle all the multiples of 10. 20, mm -hmm. 30, 40, 50, 50, 70, 80, 90, 100. <laughs> okay, brilliant. I think at all of them. Yes. So let's talk about multiples of 5. Multiples of 5. So 5 can go into any number, 10 can go into. Very good. So, five can go into all of those numbers that you've circled. Yes. Are there any other numbers that five can go into? Numbers that end with five. Very good. Did you remember that from your times tables lesson? Um, yeah. Okay, so can you tell us, circle the 35. 35. And can you tell us how many times five can go into 35 by using your fingers? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 30, 7 times. Okay, so 5 can go into 35 7, seven times, times. Without a remainder, so 35 is a? Um, 35 is a multiple. 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 Of? 5. Is 35 a multiple of 10? No, because the 5 are remainders. Very good, Niall. Show me Thank one you. more multiple of five. One more multiple of five. Five. And why is five a multiple of five? Um, because five can go into five one time. Without a remainder. Very good. So let's put, um, let's circle all the multiples of five. We have some of them already. Very good. So those 
in that column a multiple of fives and which other column do we have multiples of fives can you remind us um these two very good so those two columns we have multiples of five great yeah. now let's think about what other times tables did we do other than five and ten two two times tables do you want to get a different color for your pen um okay what color should i use today blue um like blue yeah maybe maybe blue i don't know if it looks different test it out and see mm, that look good looks kind of the same on camera okay then fine that's fine let's <laughs> just use it okay so niall look at the camera for a minute and let's think about multiples of two multiples of two um Multiples of two. Two can go into any number ending with two. Ending with two? Only two? Ending with zero? Yes, what else? Ending with four. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Two, four, six, eight, and zero. So two can go in number, into numbers and end in two, four, six. So basically six. all even numbers. Very good. That's what I wanted you to say. So two can go into even numbers. And how can you tell if a number is even? Um, if it ends with an even number. Very good. So it's going to be too many. They're going to be too many to circle. Can you just point out the in columns the multiples of two these okay so can you stand up so we can see so those are show show it to us two okay. all those because they end in two two what about the column next to it that ends in three no no because it ends in three not two it it could go into the 50 and 40 part but not the three without it there will always be a, a remainder, remainder. One. Very good. So what is the next column that has multiples of two? Um, the ones that end in four. Good. And after the ones that end in four, which is the next column that are multiples of two? Um, this column. That end in? Six. And then afterwards? Eight and um, then zero. Okay, very good. So what I want you to do, I want you to use your undo and can you take undo. out all the ones that we've circled? Take your time though, because it might go. Why did I undo it? It is, it is. Not too fast. Okay, brilliant. I want you to find me one number that is a multiple of 2, 5 and 10. Um, 2, 5 and 10. So all of those can go into it? Yes, all of those can go into um, the number without a remainder. I mean, I could do 100. Okay, how do you know 10 can go into 100? Because 10 times 10 is 100, like we just worked out. And, and what's another thing you can you can notice if you look at the number to know if 10 can they go They all in. end in 0. Good. And how do you know 5 can go into 100? Um, because 5 is half of 10, so it could still go in. Excellent, Nile. Very good. And also we know that numbers that end in 0, 5 can, all, yeah. five can also go into it. Good. And then 2? Because yes. 2 can end in 0 too. Because it ends in an even number. Very good. So, 100 if. is a multiple of all three. Okay, take it off. Okay. Okay, Niles, I'm just going to ask you some random questions. You ready for quiz time? Yeah. Are you ready for quiz time? Yay! <laughs> That's better. Okay, look at me. Am I allowed to look at the board? If you need to. Um, can I have a number in the 40s that is a multiple of 2? Um, 42. Okay, good. Can I have a number in the 40s that is a multiple of 5? 45. Okay. 
can I have a number in the 80s that's a multiple of 5? 85. Can I have another number in the 80s that's a multiple of 5? 80. 80. Excellent. Can I have a number in the 60s that's a multiple of 10? 60. Is there any other number in the 60s that's a multiple of 10? No. Excellent. Can I have one number that is a multiple of 2, 5 and 10? 100! Another one, because he used that one already. 55! Really? No, it's... no, no, not 55, 40. 40. Can you tell me why 55 is not a multiple of because 2, 10 5 and 10? Because 10 can go into the 5 part. Okay, because you'll have 5 50, left over. 50, it can go into and then five that's left over because it, it can't, can't go into the five. Okay, it'll have five as a remainder. Brilliant. That was exceptional. How was the board? Um, a lot easier, yeah. <laughs> Sorry? A lot easier, yeah. I think I expected it to be. Okay, so we're going to see you next time. And if you enjoyed the video, press that subscribe button. Bye! Bye. And don't forget to like the video. Bye!